Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you this beautiful and so cute baby bonnet, crochet baby bonnet. It's so simple, only crochet a rectangle after uh, make it three parts and these tails. You can uh, make it for maybe five in one day. Uh, I promise that you can uh, change your yarn and hook quality and you can make um, every size this baby bonnet I will tell in the video every detail my uh, awful drawing with awful drawing but so sorry but I hope I will explain well for example all of them 15 stitch but uh, you can see that it's bigger than the others so cute all of them I hope you like it and you will try that if you have any questions, please leave me comments and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're ready, we can start to crochet our beautiful baby bonnet. Let's start to crochet. I will use in my baby bonnet car top velvet. Its one ball is 100 grams and 95 meters. It's 92% of polyester, 8% of metallic yarn. They recommend us using 6 mm hook and hand washing they recommend us and its color is V02. But I will use, they recommend us 6 mm but I want to use 9 mm hook. Okay. And I want to um, tell something for you. I use... This yarn with that bonnet here and it's nearly two or three years old baby for that lime brand yarns color made easy one ball is 200 grams and it's 247 yards 226 meters 100% of acrylic they recommend to us using 6.5 mm hook again I use with that yarn 9 mm hook and look at that one more I prepare here and it's Madame Tricot Paris Tanya 100% of acrylic and its one ball is 100 grams 3.5 ounces and it's equal to 131 yards, 120 meters. They recommend us using 4 or 5 millimeter hook. Again, I use 9 millimeter hook. But you can see that difference. It's uh, different sizes it has. A, because it will be changed with the yarn. And I made... I made I will show you one more thing I use this quality of yarn gold home collection and it's um, 100 grams 100 percent of acrylic but it has no any meter information I made it I used five millimeter hook with that yarn with this yarn same number of stitch but it's for newborn you can see that now we will make with velvet yarn we will look and uh, which type of different we will see i want to tell you how you can adapt it which size you want i want to show you a little i use for all the bonnets 15 stitches. You need for this pattern, for this popcorn pattern, multiples of 6 plus 3. You will measure your babies. Think about my drawing is awful. So sorry for that. This is a head. Okay? Think about that, it's a head here. 
eyes, here ears. You will measure ear to middle of back of head, middle head. Take this centimeter and turn it to the stitch. Multiples of six here plus three. A most healthy way that okay it's um i use 15 stitches but this is for two or three years old maybe you will use a five millimeter hook and more thinner yarn you will make a newborn this is 15 stitch again but the i think this is for the uh, one to two years old it's always changing you will calculate uh, how much stitches you will prepare okay this is head okay don't love that we will start with a slip knot take my nine millimeter hook first of all make a slip knot then multiples of six this 12 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve plus three this is four pattern and i will add actually multiples of uh, six plus five okay add two for turn and start with double crochet skip so i have totally here 17 chains then skip one two three insert into the fourth one yarn over insert into the fourth one grab my yarn pull through two pull through two make double crochet count that chain three my first double then yarn over insert into the next and make a double yarn over insert into the next make a double yarn over next make a double at the end of the first row i will have 15 double crochet And look at it 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 15 chain 3 and turn your work yarn over insert from the second stitch as front post front to back down front grab your yarn pull through two pull through two then yarn over insert your hook back to front then back grab your yarn pull through to pull through to make back post one front post one back post one front then one back last stitch before of the last stitch is front post my last stitch is usual double crochet i start with usual double crochet finish with usual double crochet between of them 13 stitch one front one back this is my rig part then chain three and turn your work make a usual double crochet in every each stitch Count as my first double, insert into the second one, pull through to pull through to make a double, yarn over insert into the next, yarn over insert into the next. At the end of this third row, I will have 
15 double crochet. I complete and turn to you. I complete my third row, chain three, and we start the pattern this row. Count as my first double. Then yarn over and insert into the second one. Make a double. Then yarn over and insert into the second. Make a double. Now we start to make popcorns on the fourth stitch. Three double. Yarn over, insert into the fourth one. Grab your yarn, lose it, pull through two, one. Yarn over, insert into the same. Grab your yarn, pull through two, two. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch. Grab your yarn, pull it, and pull through two, three. Yarn over, insert into the same. Grab your yarn, pull it, pull through two, four. Yarn over, insert into the same. Grab your yarn. Pull through to five. I made them six. If it comes so much for you, you can make five, four. Okay, but I will make six times again. Yarn over, insert into the same, grab your yarn, lose it, pull through to. I have two, four, six, and seven loops. Pull through all together and locked with chain one. Yarn over and insert into the next stitch and make a double crochet. I have a big popcorn here. Then next one double, next one double. Fourth stitch again make a popcorn. Yarn over, insert into the same next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it, pull through to one. Pull through to two, yarn over, insert into the same, lose it, pull through to three, four, five, and the last time, six, pull through to. I have seven loops. Pull through all together and locked with chain one. You can uh, fix it with your finger. Okay, like that. Then make three usual double crochet. Next three stitch one, two, three. The fourth one, make popcorn again. One, same stitch, two, three, four, five, and six. I have seven loops, pull through all together, locked with chain one. Left ear three stitch, make three double crochet. Usual one, two, last one, three. Now chain three and turn your work. We will make a double crochet. At the end of this row, we will have 15 double. This is my first one, count as the first. Next stitch, two, two, next stitch, three. Don't confuse your mind. Here, lock stitch, you skip that. Okay, if you crochet that, you will increase your stitch number. We will use here, this is looking little, this is looking big. We use this big one. Skip that lock stitch, yarn over, insert that big. This is four. For this popcorns. Next, six. Six, 
seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, seven. Next one again. This is lock stitch. Skip that. Next one. Eight. Next nine. Ten. Eleven. I come to the popcorn again. This is lock stitch. Skip that. Next one. Twelve. 13 14 and last stitch here 15 chain 3 and turn your work now we will slide the popcorn's place look at that one row you will have three popcorn, one row two, or one row you will have four, one row three. Okay, you will adapt your chains, which size you want. You want to make that. Now we want to slide between of them. So this time count as my first double yarn over. Next one, two. Next one. 3 next one 4 next one 5 I crochet this time on the uh, 3, 4, 5 and the 6th row 5 double crochet 6th one my big popcorns yarn over insert the next stitch grab it one lose your stitch okay two three four five and six I have seven loops pull through all together locked with chain one and fix it with your finger then next one two one two yarn over and this is three make three double crochet then insert into the fourth one again make a big pop one two three four five and the last one six i have seven loops pull through all together locked with chain one then I have left here five stitch. You can see that and make five double crochet. One. Fix it with your finger again. Two. Three. Four. And five. chain three and turn your work this row the same as make a double crochet only skip this lock stitch okay keep your 15 stitch again make your double crochet i will make my doubles after turn to you i will show you one more time skip the lock stitch three four Five, I come to do popcorn here lock stitch here big one I skip this little lock stitch insert that big one and make double crochet here I complete and turn to you I complete chain three and turn your work this time we will repeat that fourth row again make three double crochet start with 
this is first one insert into the second make a double insert into the next one this is the third one now when you come to the fourth one you will make big popcorn yarn over insert into the fourth one one into the same two into the same three into the same four into the same five into the same six always lose my loops pull through two i have seven loops pull through all together locked with chain one and fix with my finger then make three double on the fourth one make a popcorn as same as then make three double on the fourth one make a big popcorn then make three double after that row repeat four five six and seven always i will repeat it um totally one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen rows nearly i start with three popcorn and finish with three popcorn okay i have one two three four times three popcorn three times two popcorn i will complete and turn to you i crocheted it nearly 50 centimeter you can measure that centimeter from ear to ear okay turn all around head ear to ear then make my last three bubbles after make my usual double crochet row then one more row we will crochet double crochet chain three and turn your work make a double crochet in every each stitch two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen chain three and turn your work we will add here rip part so yarn over one front post one back post one front post one back post front post back post front post back post front back front back front and finish with usual double crochet now we will we finish this rib part this rib part fold it front sides together and we will join two sides together insert into the first stitch join with a slip stitch here and look at here here posts we will use posts loops insert next one insert here and join with a slip stitch you can use single crochet but i don't want to get more 3d looking so i use 
slip stitch here and insert here You can sew it actually chain one and cut my yarn. I will hide this tail now. Turn your bonnet. It's so cute. Now we will make these parts rip parts. Okay, look at that. And make these tails. Take my yarn. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have totally 30 chains for this tail. Then insert my hook. I hold my bonnet like that and insert the first stitch of here and join with a slip stitch. Then chain three and count as first double. I will turn all around this piece yarn over come to next space and make here I will use not this space I will use this stitch in the posts these loops actually here and make here double here have a little space make double crochet here one in the post one in the stitch one in that post here one in the stitch i will turn all around and come to the other side with double crochet one in the post one in the stitch i come here and turn to you i come to end insert into the last stitch here then again 30 chains for the second tail okay one two three four five six then i want to come here again so i want to, i will make every stitch a slip stitch skip very first start from the second one make a slip stitch one two three you will insert your hook next stitch grab your yarn and pull it like that make your slip stitch come to here i will turn to you i come to end make my slip stitch here now i'm here yarn over insert into the first stitch and make a usual double then make one front post one back post one front one back 
as same as this side. I will make one front, one back and come to the end, I will turn to you. We finished our bonnet or Benny, you can use a pom-pom from here. You can see that all of them same stitch, 15 stitch, but different type of yarn. This is for two years old, this is three, and this is maybe five or six easily. Wear that. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, I hope you will make uh, your crochet your bonnets and uh, give present to lovely kids. Okay, uh, don't forget uh, share with me those photos okay thank you you can reach me on instagram on facebook on pinterest and on ads as the same name crochet with gg if you have any questions please leave me comments hope to see you in new videos have a nice day bye bye